With so many people getting on Zwift on Apple TV, you'll experience a limitation of the number of Bluetooth devices that you can connect simultaneously to the Apple TV. Apple TV only allow you to connect two Bluetooth devices. So if you have a heart rate monitor and a trainer, then you're out of Bluetooth devices if you want to connect your speed and cadence sensor, for example. But Zwift will give you the option to connect through Zwift mobile link app. And a lot of people seem to have uh, trouble figuring it out. So today I will explain that to you. So let's get to that. So let's log in and uh, I'm gonna pair my power meter uh, which is ANT plus. I'm going to pair it uh, using the cable bridge and it's looking for it and here it is. So I'll click on that and the cadence is also paired to my power meter and I'm just gonna go and select my trainer Tax Neo. Now I have the Tax Neo and the cable and let's look for my heart rate. Now it's showing me the four eyes but because it's out of Bluetooth connection so it's asking me to use a Zwift mobile link. Click on OK and now let's open the Zwift mobile link app and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do here is just wait until it connects. And the uh, way you know that is you'll see the map popping up. And here we go, it's connecting. And now I see the Watopia map. And uh, click on more, settings. And we'll go to sensors and make sure this Bluetooth sensors is checked. And now we'll exit out of that, or do not exit, just put it, put your phone down and let's go to the heart rate again and make sure you unpair it, click on it and pair it again. And now I see my heart rate and select that. And now let's go for a ride and test it. And now you can see there's a Bluetooth uh, Zwift mobile signal next to my power uh, or my heart rate. Um, Click on ride and let's see if it works. Here we go, my heart rate is going up and watts are going up and we are moving. So this is it, hopefully that explains it and if you guys have any question please send it to me at ask at smartbiketrainers.com and I will see you next time. So long.